What is Western Sahara? Morocco? Just as I like visiting new UN countries, I like going places that some consider a country and some don't. I'm not gonna be the one to judge the situation. Moroccan flags are everywhere here. It's like they put them a little bit more than they would in any other country. Let's have a look at Western Sahara. Western Sahara is a sparsely populated area of mostly deserts situated on the northwest coast of Africa. The most quiet streets I've walked around in Morocco, if it is Morocco. Where are we now? Kusakba. Yes. The beautiful city in the south of Morocco. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Shukran a former Spanish colony. It was annexed by Morocco in 1975. Since then, it has been the subject of a long-running territorial dispute between Morocco and its indigenous Sahrawi people, led by the Polisario Front. Some will call it Morocco and some Western Sahara. It's been a decades-long war of attrition. And now you see Moroccan flags everywhere, and it's more than 40 years since Morocco claimed sovereignty over Western Sahara. I don't want to get into politics about whether it's one or another. I like to look at both sides and then letting you decide what you think. One weird thing I experienced when I arrived to this area in the west of Sahara was that on my Google Maps it said Western Sahara, but it didn't do on the map of the Moroccan people living there. Here in Morocco, we used to eat fruit. The Danish government doesn't accept it as being Morocco, even though you see the Moroccan flags everywhere. And it has a bit of Moroccan feeling too. I've been to Morocco three times before and I really enjoyed the country. From Marrakesh to Casablanca, to the big desert and the small mountain villages. Therefore, it was interesting to go to the very south, to Dakla. It's not often you can be at a closed market here in Morocco and not be approached by anyone. It's possible here. A medium-sized city of just over 100,000 people located 400 kilometers north of the Mauritanian border, where I did the incredible and rough iron ore train. It's totally worth it. The in Western Sahara was in fact different from the other places I've been in Morocco. Cristiano Ronaldo, eh? Ronaldo, eh? First of all, it's much more quiet and less touristed than most other places you can go in this region. It's really not touristed. One thing I like about traveling is the contrasts. I come from Denmark, which is very green in the summertime, and then going to the desert coast in Africa with sand dunes located in the Sahara. It's a fascinating shift in nature. The Dakla region is world famous for being a paradise for kite surfing and surfing. If you are a hiking or trekking enthusiast, you will not be disappointed by your visit to Dakla either. You can go to Sarawi villages with tents decorated in the Sarawi traditions and where tea is served at any time of the day a mark of welcome and hospitality. Every normal people here, they live in harmony, uh, they live, 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 they they actually don't care about this part. I also went to Tamaha where they have an oyster breeding station where you can taste amazing lobsters and oysters from the Dakla farm in Tamaha. Dakla is a heavenly town lost between the waters of the Atlantic and the sands of the Sahara with very friendly locals. People from here, they love tea. This was a very interesting place to visit and I'm glad I came here and explored this area and met so many good people. Have you been to this part of the world? Would you call it Morocco or Western Sahara? Please comment below. Western Sahara or Morocco? No, Morocco Sahara. Morocco Sahara. So remember to okay, subscribe okay. to Gus on the Go. 150 countries and more to come. So uh, how many boats do we find here? Uh, I think it's uh, 5 million, 54 weeks and uh, 5 days. I think, uh, I think you're right now.